As a board, what we're always looking for is the balance between risk and opportunity. On the one hand, it's really important to understand the risks that may present themselves, either from action or inaction. On the other hand, it's really important to not be paralyzed by risk and really look at the upside. What is the opportunity? As in any individual, but to influence somebody, you need to understand his personality, his peeves, and also what are his uh, you know, hot buttons that you can press to influence somebody. But at a board level, that becomes a whole board dynamic which uh, you need to understand. To do that, we're typically looking for a really multi-lens view of the situation. So what's happening with customers? How is the behavior changing? What's happening with the market landscape and competitors, what their offerings are maybe evolving? What's the geopolitical landscape? How does that affect the business? Uh, what are the supply chain dynamics that may, affect, um, uh, that may affect the business? And then we're also looking at elements like talent. You know, how is the talent landscape shifting? Can we deliver against the strategy that we plan to lay out? So in, to influence the right people, apart from knowing the individuals, you need to do it outside of the actual boardroom. Right? You need to have a, a more social environment where you can discuss with him the issues that you want to raise and how you can actually convince him on your position. So it's actually multi-stakeholder, multi-lens view uh, of a particular situation. And back to the point, it's looking at the risks that any of these dimensions may present or the opportunities that any of these dimensions may present. And the third kind of boards that I mentioned is also the family board. So the family business, for example, at the board level is usually very much a rubber stamp. So you need to understand who influences the patriarch. The chairman usually is the head of the, of the company, you know, but uh, surrounding him are the fa uh, family members. And very often they have a family board above the uh, main board. So it's important to understand who can actually influence the patriarch and therefore you know, get the uh, des desired decision made. So this is uh, how I would do that.